Hello YouTube, my name is Anas and you're watching Watch On Channel. Today I'm reviewing this Malo watch. This is the Derwent from this small micro brand from Oxfordshire in England, in Great Britain. And they, this is the first watch they ever released, the Derwent. Uh, this is the first um, watch they, they funded. I think they funded this on Kickstarter. If you haven't already uh, seen my other review from Malo Watch Company, uh, I reviewed this Sherwell uh, oh, some weeks ago and this is a really nice dress watch as well as you can see in the size difference here uh, they they kind of uh, work with within the vintage inspired dressier kind of watches but they they really offer both the bigger more modern size and the smaller uh, more uh, vintage inspired size so uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel remember to hit the logo button down in the right corner and then you'll get the notifications whenever I'm releasing new watch content. And I have a bunch of different videos and reviews coming up. I got a long line of watches I'm going to review over the next uh, weeks. So stay tuned for more watch reviews. So getting into this watch, this is the Durban Sundial. And of course you can see on the dial here, this resembles an ancient uh, construction uh, found in, in, in England which uh, was used back in ancient times to measure uh, how far uh, ahead uh, uh, in the day you were, to measure the sun, to measure uh, at what time it was. And let me just uh, show you the dimensions of this watch. So this is a vintage inspired watch, also in, in uh, the size, so you get a 38 millimeter diameter watch size, including the crown, you get 41. Thickness is just about one centimeter, about 10 millimeters. And the lock width is a nice 20. So you should have no, absolutely no problems finding different straps for this watch. But let me just say that you will never need to find any straps for this watch because this is an absolutely super, super, super comfortable strap. So this watch is a manually wound watch and you get this kind of, I don't, I don't even know what, 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 these types of crowns are called, but it's actually just a miniature size of what you get with the Sherwell. As you can see, it's, it's completely the same crown, just in a smaller size. Also, if you notice uh, the dial here, with this beautiful light blue uh, dial, you get uh, the hour markings out in the, the perimeter of the watch outside here. You get six, seven, eight. It's hand-wound Marlow watch company on the dial. And you only get two hands, the hour hand and the minute hand. And this is completely uh, part of the philosophy of this watch company. It's not like they don't like time, that they hate time or that they don't like uh, minutes or uh, even seconds. It's because they kind of uh, try to, to do a kind of philosophy, philosophy behind the company, which is, is remember to enjoy life, remember to to appreciate every minute you live, uh, but don't stress about anything. So that's why this is kind of a slow living watch. We don't need to worry about the seconds, just worry about the hours and the minutes. So if we look at the case, uh, this could very well, well resemble some kind of um, yellow, gold, or even bronze. Um, but this is uh, stainless steel with a in, the, in this kind of yellow, gold, bronze kind of uh, color, which is very, very nice. Also, you get the buckle here with Marlowe. So it kind of follows uh, between the buckle and the case, as you can see here. On the back side, you get uh, some different information about the, this watch, which movement it is, that it's from Marlowe Watch Company, that is the first edition of the, the Sherwell, sorry, the Derwent watch, and also an open heart see-through uh, little window here at the back of the watch where you can see the movement uh, moving. This is a manually wound watch. So with this watch which comes in four different variations, you have to manually wind the watch, uh, not every day, but um, approximately almost every second day. It has a, a power reserve of approximately a little more than 40 hours. So you can have it running for uh, almost two whole uh, days before you have to wind it again. But the whole idea with these watches, if I can just bring the Sherwell into the picture again, it is that you have to 
get close to your watch, you have to enjoy your watch and you have to touch your watch. Your watch isn't just a tool, your watch is a part of your attire, a, a, a part of your, your dress and your style. And, and the watch is something you want to interact with. So if you buy one of these watches, it's, it's kind of a statement that, that you really love watches and that you want to touch your watch almost every day. So this has a, um, a, a Chinese seagull movement inside it. And this has a power reserve of, of little more than 50 hours. But back to the Durvent, just wanted to compare a little. Uh, back to the Durvent. Inside this watch is uh, actually not a Chinese movement, but a Japanese movement. Movement. And this is the Myota 6033 uh, movement, which is a manually wound hand winding movement, as you can see here. Um, the difference between this movement and the seagull is that when you wind the seagull, you can really feel that you're winding it. It makes this makes this clicking sound. This is completely silent when you wind it. You don't feel any resistance. You don't really feel that you're that you're winding the watch. But now I can't wind it anymore. No, it's, now it's fully wound, and it's a really nice pleasure to have this kind of uh, signal from the watch that now now I'm fully wound. Uh, don't turn the crown any 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 further. And so and it's very very easy and fast to wind this watch. So it's absolutely no hassle. But again. If you just need a watch to tell you the time and it's very important for you, buy a quartz watch, buy a tough quartz watch. But if you want to have a, a more special piece that you want to interact with, which you want to look at, not just to tell the time, but to enjoy just looking at, I would definitely recommend you to uh, look into this Marlow Derwent watch. This comes in four variations, which you can find on the webpage of Marlow Watch Company. The crystal here is an, a, a domed acrylic crystal. An acrylic crystal, you can almost feel it when you touch it. It's, it's, it's just not as smooth as a sapphire crystal. Uh, the Sherwell is sapphire crystal and, and you can definitely uh, tell the difference. This is more like plastic and you can almost also hear it. So this is kind of scratch prone. It, it will not resist very well against scratches. But this is a whole, the whole idea of this kind of vintage, modern vintage piece that, of course, they, they had to fit it with acrylic crystal. And even though it's, it's, very, it's a highly domed, very domed crystal, which is completely um, a, a look back into a watch history again, it really just is a perfect way of uh, putting a crystal on this watch. It's absolutely uh, great because it, it gives this uh, vintage feeling but still, this is an extremely flat movement, and and being as flat at it, at it, at it, as it is, sorry, uh, it's very nice that they add like two or three millimeters of dome crystal here. So you have the sundial here on the backside, and you can see the movement just ticking away. This retails at the website of Marlow Watch Company for three hundred and twenty nine British pounds. I think that's about 280 American dollars and uh, like uh, about uh, 300 euros. So this is by no means a, a cheap watch or, or a very affordable watch. But on the other hand, you get something very, very special with this watch. This is a watch that the two guys between the company, as you can see here, Oliver and Gordon, really put a lot of thought and design into. They spend a lot of time designing and thinking out these watches. And for what you're getting, the wearing comfortability of this watch and the whole story and the small, very nice design features of this watch, I really think that this is a very reasonable price. Again, getting back to the leather strap, extremely comfortable. You get a Marlow watch company stamped into leather here. It's genuine leather. You're not the slightest in doubt that this is genuine leather. Uh, I like this uh, red thread here, which really gives it just a kind of a color to just make it a little more colorful. So uh, let me just show you how it looks on my wrist. I have a wrist uh, which is 7.1 inch wide. Uh, this equals in the metric system just about 
is 17 and a half to 18 centimeters. And let me just show you here. This is how it looks on my wrist. So I really enjoy wearing this watch. It's, it's really comfortable wearing and it just it's a super, super um, kind of look back into vintage watches, but being completely new and and uh, and modern. Also with the curve down. Also with these curved down, slightly curved down locks, it really uh, kind of fits very close to your wrist. So it it's the perfect kind of casual watch, which you don't even notice that you're wearing. Also, if we look at uh, at how it, it, it really fits it fits my wrist, if you can just sense it here, the case is like with this kind of line in between, but it's it's a one piece case as far as I know. Let me just give you a close closer look on the dial here. Let me see if I can get it up nice and close for you guys. So you see, this is very, very nice. They got it in in a, in a darker blue. Uh, I think it's called the nautical. And then they got it in a, in a white and a gray as well, as far as I remember. But have a look at their website to just check out what uh, different versions of this watch and also uh, the Sherwell uh, watch they have. So I, be, well, I was uh, very fortunate to have this lent to me by a, a Marlow watch company. And I have no affiliation with Marlow watch company whatsoever. I just really like what they're doing. So I of course contact, contacted them to ask if I was, if they were, would be willing to lend me one of their watches for a review. Um, I will be sending this one back, but I actually went on and, and asked uh, Oliver if I could keep this watch if I of course paid for it. So I was able to buy this watch of these guys and I must say I totally enjoy it. This is a high quality watch as well. So if you're interested in, in a more modern interpretation of, of, of vintage watches and you want to just try out something very cool that not so many people own because I don't really think that Marlow watch company is a it's a very known watch company. I think I would suggest you to, to check out the, the Derwent. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this review of this small vintage inspired piece from Marlow watch company. If you enjoyed this review, give me a thumbs up. Remember to leave a comment, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Write me an email if you have any questions or just would like to discuss watches. I love discussing watches. I'm a watch nerd just as, as you guys. Also, uh, remember to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and would like more free watch content. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.